Good morning, everyone. Happy 4th of July. I have dark circles under my eyes, so we've got on the eye patches, and I have a nice big pimple right here. So we've got on a pimple patch to start the morning. Still in my PJs, about to do my gratefuls, take my morning supplements. You guys know the drill. Let's do our gratefuls together. Number one grateful is a good, fresh self tan. I do have a little bit of natural tan, but I thought by July I would have way more of a natural tan, and I just don't. So we love the self tanner. This this is the Loving Tan Platinum. It's just so good. I haven't rinsed yet, but I slept in it. Also grateful for moments of sunshine. Zane and I were excited to have a little 4th of July together in a barbecue, go over the pool and stuff together, but it's gonna start raining at like two or three o'clock. It's still early. It's not even 9 a.m. Today is Tuesday, so I do have to upload my vlog. I started editing it yesterday. I made good progress. I was gonna put my new nails, but I put that yesterday, so we have to be original. But I did get my nails done yesterday, and I got a nice pedicure. It was so nice. Treated myself. Also, I had a nice weekend off. There was no vlog on Friday because I just took the holiday weekend to just chill, and I very much enjoyed myself. Last one, I'm gonna put air conditioner because it's getting hot now. It is summer weather. We're reaching high 80s. I'm gonna take my morning goodies, get everything moving and flowing. Oh, we're almost out. There's one left. In there. I'm gonna take out the turkey so we can do barbecue today at some point. I do hope that the weather holds up at least a little bit for later because I have sparklers. And I thought that that would be cute for Zane and I to do together. The rain is just ruining the plan. Just did a quick change into my little workout fit. I'm just gonna get on the walking pad while I edit today's vlog that I need to get up. And I saw the sports bra and I was like, yeah, it's close to red. We'll be a little uh, festive for the holiday. This is from Yvette and then Fabletics. Back your shorts. Oh, and I have on blue eye patches. Look at that. I knew yesterday that today I would want to walk on my walking pants, so instead of putting it away, I moved my chair over here and I worked with my screen tilted this way. Hey, whatever works, you know? I mean, this thing is so easy to put away anyway. I could have just done it, but you know. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. High black socks because we didn't rinse the tanner yet and we don't want to get it all over our hokas. Even though these are due for a nice wash. Apple watch on the ankle so we can track our steps. Indoor walk. All right, it is 9 a.m. I want to make like really good progress on this vlog in the next two hours. I would love to have it finished. So let's see what I can do. I've edited a lot of it. I think I'm on the last day of the vlog. So we got this. Usually when I'm walking, I feel like I'm more focused too because I'm not as like relaxed sitting down. So I think I can get this done quick. Oh my God. The treadmill says I walked over five miles. My Apple Watch says four miles. So however you wanna look at it, I'm sweating. 10,045 steps, 88 minutes. I just walked for. This walking pad makes it so easy and finished editing within an hour. I edited a lot yesterday, so it takes me a few hours to edit, but finished it up in an hour. It is now 10.27, almost 10.30, and we've got 30 minutes left to wash of the vlog, so that's perfect timing. I said I wanted to be finished by like 11. By the time I make the thumbnail and stuff, probably like 11, 30, 12-ish, but honestly, this weather is just ruining Zane and I's vibe for today. We wanted to have a pool day. We wanted to do sparklers and do a barbecue, and now it's just clouds and rain literally all day. And it's just not stopping. I know this summer like sucks so far with the weather over here. We'll get like one or two random sunny days and then look, still so much rain and clouds. Like what is going on? I'm just hoping it holds up for my sister's bridal shower because it's in our backyard. So the weather better be good that day because I mean, we could always bring it inside, but the plan was to like everyone bring your bathing suits and like we'll chill outside. Anyways. Let me end this on my watch before I forget. Killed it, we did so good. I'm so happy that we got that movement in. I feel amazing. I'm gonna finish this vlog and then we'll see where the day takes us because obviously our plans are gonna have to shift. A bit. I <laughs> it's a nice midday. It went like a little, then we're gonna hop in the shower and then we got my vlog on Friday. I have to love these days at these moments because we're gonna start with my sister's festival wedding. So get excited for that. She'll be here mid. It's like a thin crinkly toy. I've been doing, this is typical cats. They do the cutest shit and no, 
just got off the cycling bike and now it's downpouring. <laughs> Try me and my mom laid out. I saw every time a song would pop up in the book, the melody and stuff. Yes, but it still was a good book even though. It is 11.58 and vlog is all done. Thumbnails done, links are done. I'm just waiting for the HD to process, which literally takes forever. But all is done now. Computer is going to sleep. Few things to chat with you guys about. Number one, I have a book review for you. I finished another one. I mean, it's tiny. It was like 130 pages. This is the second book in the Maybe Someday series. This is from the perspective of one of the main characters' roommate. And so it's kind of just like a fun, feel-good story of how he got involved with the other roommate. So it's kind of like their little love story. It's definitely spicy. So if you like spice, you'll like this. I wouldn't read it if you don't read maybe someday. I would definitely only read this if you're gonna read the whole series. I am now like more than halfway done with the third book of the series. So I'm almost done with the whole thing. So that's very exciting. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, so far the first book was my favorite. This was just a fun little addition. So if you read the story, you'll enjoy it. I finished it in like a day and like a morning because I started to fall asleep but super quick easy read it's kind of feel good and wholesome because he's like loves this girl but she's like a bitch and he kind of like changes her and shows her like hey you're allowed to be loved like let me love you so pretty good that's that got a few things from Amazon how do we feel about this you guys have to tell me I don't know I saw an influencer that I follow post about this and I was like that's kind of fun it's a purse and it comes with a little handle. So one like this, if you wanted to just carry it like that. I thought it was giving like Lululemon belt bag, but upgraded <laughs> and kind of fun. So if you want to take off this strap, you can, and then just hold it like that too. I'm pretty sure this is a dupe for a designer bag. Don't quote me on that, but I just thought it was kind of fun. And I love the gold detail and I needed like a white, nicer purse like this. I don't know. It probably won't fit much and it almost is looking like a football. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but. Got that. I also got my favorite linen pants. They came in in this beige color, which is one of my favorite colors ever. So very excited to wear those. This was a random throw in, but I love me an oversized tee. So I got a chocolate brown. I just saw it and I was like, that's something that I would wear a lot. So love it. It's very soft, very comfy. And then lastly, which we're about to do right now, wash our bed sheets because they have tanner all over them. And I purposely waited because I knew I was going to tan last night. But I am so sick of our bed sheet coming off the corner of our mattress. I guess our mattress is just really thick. So it's not like big enough to fit over it. And I have um, this same exact sheet upstairs in one of the guest bedrooms. So I just grabbed another one for us. It's a deep pocket sheet. So basically it's just bigger and it goes way more under your uh, mattress. And I remember really loving it and it was really soft. So I am going to give this a wash with the rest of our sheets so that it doesn't come off of the edges anymore we're gonna get some laundry put away today i washed the towels they just need to be put away too so perfection let's get a load going and we also then after have to go outside and clean out the pool vacuum we used it for the first time yesterday pool's looking a little cloudy i think it's just because all the stuff from the bottom got like pushed up but i'm gonna clean out the filter charge it and then run it again this is what our sheets look like after i self tan <laughs> Mind you, I could be more careful and not get it everywhere, but I knew I was going to wash sheets today and it comes right off, so I didn't care last night. It is what it is. and Zane and I just figured out our plan for the day. So the weather kept changing, but now it says that it's gonna rain now and then it's gonna be actually nice later. So Zane's gonna finish up his work day for a few more hours. I'm gonna do some things around the house that I've been wanting to do. And then come like four or five o'clock, we're gonna do our barbecue outside. We'll do our sparklers, we'll go in the pool, maybe get ice cream after. We're just gonna have ourselves a little night. So now that leaves me time to get a few little things done. I'm not even gonna shower because we're gonna jump in the pool, so I'll just shower later. But hopefully that plan works out and the weather holds up. I'm just having one of those like feel good days. I feel like I got all my work done, I'm caught up, and we have like a good week ahead of us. Tomorrow we're gonna do a Costco haul, so you guys will see that. That'll be really nice. I love a good grocery haul, especially Costco, so 
get ready for that and it's gonna be a big one because we are running low on a lot of stuff so we need it nice refresh on all our rags for cleaning i just did a wash those go right in the cabinet it is about to downpour so i'm just gonna quickly go get the robot vacuum cleaned up oh yeah it's about to come down it is hot and muggy outside too so we have to clean the filter and then bring it back inside to get charged i hear the thunder Ooh. come with me my little buddy <laughs> i think we just remove this top piece and then clean the filter and then this should pop out and then oh yeah i mean it's not that dirty honestly i feel like it needs to go again oh it smells like fish i'm gonna just put down a towel because it's wet so i'll charge it right here checks off the list i am gonna watch some love island while i get some cleaning done to be honest i was expecting more out of this season i've heard some good things about it and i've been seeing things on social media about it but i'm still gonna continue i'm already on episode 21 but my friend and i this weekend we binge watched a bunch of episodes and some of them are just so slow i find myself getting distracted if i just try to sit and watch it which is weird because i used to love this show so i don't know maybe i'm just changing anyways I'm gonna throw it on while I do some more laundry, put this away, I'm gonna put the dishes away, reload the dishwasher, and then I'm gonna make myself something to eat. I think I'm gonna have like an Aussie or something. That sounds good. And yeah, just get some things done around the house. It is almost 5 p.m. and it's finally time for us to enjoy our night. We're gonna do a barbecue. We'll do sparklers when it gets dark. We got all the hot dog and hamburger buns. Got some hot dogs, some ground turkey. We're gonna do some fresh burgers. We made ourselves a cocktail. Cheers. 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 I wanna take it in Need this. Sorry. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. The weather has been so not good that we haven't actually used our Blackstone since Father's Day. So it is time to unveil. Okay. Oh, here the mail. Little Fourth of July on our own. Light her up. We haven't hung out in our backyard at night yet. Yeah, I know. Plus the lights Can are I... ready when it gets dark. Wow. Yeah, That's so nervous. Huh. <laughs> what? Is that sizzling? Why did it sizzle? It's sizzling. It's still higher than. We're definitely not doing this the proper way, so don't make fun of us, guys. When it's just us, we can do whatever we want. Yeah, we're doing this like the most half assed way yeah. possible. <laughs> but it is what it is, it'll taste good. Literally, all we're having is hot dogs and turkey burgers. We didn't even take out a side or nothing. We were like, yeah, let's just have hot dogs and turkey burgers. <laughs> Which is unusual because I love my sides. I'm a sides queen, but honestly, this sounds pretty good. I'm gonna have two hot dogs, a burger. We got our little plate set up over here. Got the umbrella up. I'm excited. All right, look at this. Alyssa's a little bit drunk. She's feeling great. <laughs> a little tipsy, I should say, not drunk. But we got our hot dogs, our burgers, got our drinks. This is no more vodka for me. This is just the flavoring, the, like the strawberry watermelon thing. Zane's grabbing water. We're gonna clean the grill before we relax so that we don't have to do it after. We got our leftovers in the container and I'm so excited to eat. I'm hungry. I'm gonna put some onions, some pickles, some ketchup. Mm, relish, now I'm a new fan of relish. Yum. I can just drop this in. Mm -hmm. 
Did you bring your camera? <gasps> the charger hole. Listen, it's probably not a big deal. Honestly. I can zoom in. Anyways. You just gonna jump? Mm -hmm. Like jump jump? Oh, you're gonna jump off the diving board. Got a little chill. It's not bad at all. Yeah. Good. What? You gotta get this guy out of here. This needs to be like picked up. Baby, I got a full master class for my boy, bro. I have a king. It was a bunch of leaves, but with a rope. Here. Huh? You should more over here. I don't know if I could be that loud or not, but when I cleaned out the robot back there, it's like fish. You did say that. Okay. That's the smell of algae. Yeah. I mean, I think the last time we shocked the pool was when Brian came, so we're definitely due. Okay. And my freaking pimple patch on still. From when? Last night? This morning. Took off my tanner. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> What's worse? I noticed it all day. I thought you had it on on purpose. I did, but right now I'm saying I shot cute clips of us. I mean, we're well, getting more. What time is it? No, it's not. It's only like 6.30. It's going to fucking go to Dorothy. Another core memory time. We right, played basketball in a hurricane. But it was like summer. I so used we to swim in the rain. I love swimming in the rain. But it was like bad. Like, I'm talking real bad. But there was no lightning. Fireworks or thunder? It's on top of my Kindle. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay, um, you guys might think I'm a little crazy for this, but I have like this impulse want to just cut a little bit of my ends off of my hair. I feel like they've gotten a little bit meh and like super blonde and I'm just not feeling it. And I want like a small little hair change because I love hair change. And also, if you didn't know, this is all extensions. This isn't even my hair. And they come out in the beginning of August. I'm due to get new extensions anyway. So I'm going to do my little trick that I used to do over quarantine where you take your wet hair, just wash it in the shower, tie it in front of your face like this, and then you cut the bottom a little bit. And I'm just feeling like I need it, you know? So let's go for it. Make sure it's like brushed nice and flat. See how it got super sparse down here at the bottom? It's just like a little cut, you know? We'll start small. Is that crooked? I can't tell. Oh, that looks pretty good. Tiny bit more. I just have to make sure that it's even because that's not. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> when you feel the urge, you have to just do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have stopped like thinking about it. See, now I feel better. Can't even tell. Okay, just got on our fresh sheets for tonight. Got the AC going. We take these scissors back inside. We are getting ready to relax in the living room and just watch our show for the night. Once it gets dark, we're gonna go do with some sparklers. I'm about to make a little dessert. I'm gonna do this Fiber One brownie, heat it up a little bit, and then put some uh, Halo Top ice cream on top, and then like mix it up like Cold Stone. Yeah. WWCD, babe. What would Coldstone do? What would Coldstone do? Coldstone would not be doing this. <laughs> get the little brownie in there. Heat it up just for like 10 seconds. Just enough time to get your ice cream out of the freezer. And get Zane's chocolate. Three, two, one. Oh no, and toilet list for Costco tomorrow. Oh no. <laughs> Zane's running out of his chocolate. Okay. Bam. Okay, now we go ahead and like mash it together. So you get the chunks of brownie in the ice cream. Cookies and cream, brownie, ice cream. Absolutely. Mm. I'm gonna need a little more ice cream actually. You know what? Perfect. It's Brooklyn Nine-Nine time. Guys, I have to show you my hair. I just did the Dyson Era while we were watching TV and I feel like it looks so much better. I love it. 
I feel so much more like fresh. It just needed like a little trim. I am so happy with it. I did like the straight brush and then I did like the curling brush a little bit on the ends. I did my bangs. I feel so nice and refreshed. I feel like that's exactly what I needed. I guess since it's almost time for new extensions, they just got really long and I was like, oof. These are getting straggly and way too long. And now I feel so much better. Anyways, we're still watching our show, just chilling. And we're gonna head out in a little bit. It's getting real dark now and we're gonna do little sparklers just to be festive and then sit our butts right back down here and watch TV. Whoa. Make it stop. Sparkler time. Hurry up, so we can do it at the same time. <laughs> One, two, three. Hey, what are we doing? A heart. I thought we were, oh, we're doing a heart? Okay. One, right. two, three. Wow. Too slow. So cute. Faster. One, two. One, two, three. Wow, looks so good. Wow, a fourth of July. Chocla. <laughs> Woo! Hey, hey, hey. Whoa! <laughs> I thought this would be a pretty picture. <laughs> that was so fun! I loved it! I loved that! Time to close up shop. Now we did our little sparklers. Everyone else can do their expensive ass fireworks. <laughs> We've had enough. Okay, wait, I can't see now. Look at our Bailey spooked. Oh, my baby, you okay, mama? You guys can't even see her because of the TV. You okay? Boogies, it's just fireworks. Bella's fine. Benji's walking around playing with his toy. And Bailey is spooked. She was in the dining room all by herself, so I brought her over here. But she's trying to run. I'm trying to, be, uh, trying to get her to come here. Don't take her out. Muggies, you want to snuggles? Come here, schmooks. Oh, she's running. <laughs> She got low to the ground and ran away. Oh. <laughs> that hurts my heart. I can't imagine having a dog that like whimpers. Yeah. I oh. Dogs are more. Dogs are definitely. Sensitive. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. And dogs have to go to the bathroom outside. They have to go outside. Yeah. Oh, so sad. Where did she run off to the bedroom? The I bedroom? probably no the bedroom way. Probably under our bed. Mm. My baby. Huh. Good morning everyone. Happy Wednesday. We are up and out this morning. I had a little bit of a restless sleep. I'm not sure why. It could be subconsciously because of all the fireworks. They're really loud. Um, or I usually don't sleep in a tank top, which sounds funny. I just fell asleep in this. I put it on after I showered yesterday. I usually like like a like loose top, like a t-shirt or something. Or like these kind of tops for my PJ set. So that could have thrown me off. But I was a little bit restless. But nonetheless, we're up. Information you guys didn't really need. So we're starting the day. Switching the laundry that I was supposed to finish yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and take my symbiotic and everything. And then we're going to get in our workout. It is upper body day. So we get that done. Then we've got the podcast. Then we're going to Costco. We've got a day ahead of us. It's also going to be 90 degrees out. So maybe getting by the pool would be nice again. We'll see how the day unfolds. I have one left. Time for a refill on my seed. Zane and I are outside adulting. So I figured I'd bring you guys along. Our pool is literally the scene from Shrek. <laughs> it is a swamp. <laughs> we were using our robot vacuum. But that wasn't the issue. The issue was we needed to put shock in it. So we're putting shock in it right now and hopefully it'll clear up by tomorrow. Usually it does. There's no like leaves on the bottom because we vacuumed twice, but the algae is just womp womp. So Zane's doing that. I am watering my plants. I feel like we're playing house. So funny. <laughs> we are. Yeah. <laughs> my plants are doing good by the way, you guys. <laughs> if you guys remember that one was not doing well and then this white one over here was not doing well. Look, she's back to life. Maybe I do have a green thumb. I don't know what those are. What are those two? Is that a mushroom? Like, what are these? <laughs> they look like something out of Whoville. I think it is a mushroom, actually. Is that good or bad? Should I leave them? I know nothing about this. Anyways, I'm filling up my watering can. It's a beautiful day. Definitely gonna have to get outside. What am I guys doing over here? All right, they're hanging on. Why are there so many gnats? I don't think it ever ended up raining over here yesterday. 
They kept saying it was gonna, so they're probably very thirsty. Ew, there's so many gnats. What is going on? Please work, shock. <laughs> We're really trying to be good homeowners this year. Upper body day. I'm just gonna stay in this tank because I don't need anything supportive. And then these are my Yogalicious biker shorts. These are on my Amazon store. I love them. They're so good. I'm just gonna put on some shocks. And I'm gonna put my hair up since I just washed it fresh yesterday. I don't want it getting all sweaty and gross already. We gotta hurry up. It's already 8.51. We have the podcast at 9.30 and my workout's like 30 something minutes. So, let go. Like something in their frozen aisle. I don't know. I recommend let's not use bags because we always want to bag it in the car anyway. It's going to take a lot of space in the car. Guess what time of the week it is? Or time of the month, rather. I feel like we come like once a month. It's Costco time and it is 90 degrees. I can't wait to get by the pool. Are we struggling? Okay. <laughs> Off we go. Guys, these pupusas are so good and look what they have this time. Last time it was what, just bean and cheese? Yeah. <gasps> Sign us up. Birria, I think. I don't know, I, I always say, say it's Berea, different. I know. Oh, I'm Berea. so excited. I think it's birria. Yeah. We're getting some goodies this time. Look, they have a fully made charcuterie board. For only $25.99. The amount you cool spend on like cheese? Yeah. That's smart. Oh, what's this sample? I love samples. Why is this so funny to me? Fully cooked chicken breast bites. Just little things of a chicken breast. That's good for people that work out. Yeah, protein. people that are like, protein, protein snack. Honestly, this is great to have at home just to make like wraps or something. Just take a pack and be done. How much is it though, he says. Um. I feel like stuff like that is- No price. Well, yeah, because we can make it ourselves, that's why. It's, like, you're paying for convenience, for yeah. Updates, everyone, look at our list. We're doing good, getting Wait, things checked off. I have to add tissues. Oh, add tissues just to check it off. Absolutely. <laughs> We're getting a lot of new stuff. I'm excited. Obviously, I'll show you guys a haul when we get home, but. And they had the Kirkland tissues. Last time, they were all the way up there, and it was taking way too long for someone to come get them. So now we got them. Boys, and we have a haul for you. We just stopped at Lidl and got a few little things too. So take it all out and I'll show you what we got. It is hot balls. Are you setting this up specially? No. Okay. All right, we got an exciting one today because we got some usuals but we also got a lot of new stuff so i'm excited to do some little reviews for you guys first of all we stopped at little after just got like a few little things our tortillas cheese some potatoes and some scallions and then from costco this is a new item this is something that i have eyed every time we go and i'm like eh, what if we don't like it it's a giant bottle but i just need to try it it just sounds so intriguing zane and i love truffle stuff so especially i'm thinking if we like air fry some potatoes and like toss them in this seasoning probably so good so gonna try that also gonna try these they're like a pre-made uh, veggie frozen mix that you can just like throw some in the microwave perfect for like a side for dinners and stuff we needed some tissues so we got a nice big pack of them I keep tissues in like every room I like to have them handy so I like to put a box everywhere <laughs> and then these are a new purchase as well we got these granola bars just like simple chocolate chip granola bars rice krispie treats we usually like the variety pack with the chocolate ones but they didn't have they didn't have a few things today actually they didn't have the Aussie bowls that I love and something else we couldn't find. Oh, our breakfast sandwiches, like the egg sandwiches, the Jimmy Dean ones, so good. Got these again, we love these, the onion and cheddar burgers. This is our go-to, we get this big pack of ground turkey, it splits up and we use it for all different types of dinners. You guys saw we literally just made turkey burgers with it. Some asparagus, some little mini tomatoes. I love making these with pasta, like cooking them down, so bomb. Water bottles, these are just good for if we have people visiting or whatever. These are Zane's favorite dark chocolate, caramel chocolates. Zane also loves these Tyson crispy chicken strips. These are a repurchase, they're a frozen ramen, so fire. Absolutely delicious. These we haven't gotten from Costco yet. I used to eat these all the time when I worked at Five Below. I used to get them as a little snack and they're so, so good. And I eye them, honestly, every time I go to Costco. So I was like, today's the day. They remind me of that cereal I used to love. I think it's called Crave. Babe, you remember that cereal we used to have? Remember the oh, cereal? Yeah. It's Crave? With a little chocolate. Yeah. yeah it's oh, so good. That reminds me of that. And then Papusa is really excited about these. They had 
birria. Last time we got bean and cheese, so this is new, but we loved the other ones, so, so excited about that. These, you already know, I don't even have to talk about them. Fire flames. Zane loves his little applesauce pouches. We needed solo cups for when we have people over. And then love these as well, the mixed vegetables. Frozen mixed veggies are our go-to. They got me with these with their sample, I must admit. And I honestly am not a dark chocolate girl, but I loved this just for like a little sweet treat. And they're like a good size. So you can just have like one or two and it like, you know, satisfies the craving. Really, really good. Zane loves these as well. I didn't get a chance to have one last time. I just had a bite of his and I never really had one. So I'm excited to fully try it this time, <laughs> but it was good. You already know we love our 647 bread obsession. Oh, we got another box of these for uh, Zane's sister. And then edamame, one of my faves. And these are individual little steamable bags, which is just convenience is my favorite thing. And then these Chobani zero sugar, we put the made good, good made, made good. The little granola balls that they sell at Costco, put those in there. Great little snack. And that is everything that we got. Now we have to put it all away before it all melts because it is sweltering outside. We're putting everything away, but restocking these things in the pantry is so satisfying. So figured I'd share. Got my little Hello Panda chocolates. I'm mixing them with my Drizzlicious because these are no longer at Costco. It's very upsetting. I'm gonna have to order them on Amazon when I'm out. Although we got them like two or three months ago, I feel like, and they're still, I still have some left. To be fair, Zane doesn't eat them, so it's just me. But the box lasts forever. Oh my God, there's so many in here. So cute. If you missed it, I organized the pantry all nice with these Amazon containers and it's, Kind of the best organization decision I've ever made. <laughs> Just stocked up our Rice Krispie Treats. Got our little granola bars right here. Phenomenal. I just put all of the tissues away up there. <laughs> Tell me you shop at Costco without telling me you shop at Costco. Literally, these paper towels and toilet paper have lasted us forever. They're gonna last so long. All my laundry is done too, so this needs to get put away. But right now I'm doing the seasonings because this has been an issue for us. Everything down here was like our extras, but it just got so stuffed, we couldn't even close it anymore. Where's the one we just got? Oh, so down here I'm prioritizing stuff that we don't have in these little containers up here. And then anything like extra can go up above the um, microwave. I guess the garlic powder can be refilled. I might as well fill them up before I put it up there. I feel like I'm gonna be able to fit a decent amount of stuff in here now. So we can still keep extras down here. I feel like the salt and pepper can go up top because that's like an easy thing to remember that we have up there. All the other stuff can go down here, like in the back. It's our extra onion, extra everything bagel. I've got two fun little packages. Number one is something I've been thinking about for a while and finally pulled the plug. <laughs> Not that it's anything like super expensive, it's just an Amazon thing, but I got an ice roller. I refrain from it because I don't like to be cold. I like to be like toasty and comfortable, but especially with this hot summer weather and the fact that it depuffs, I feel like I've been waking up really just puffy. I would love to depuff. And I've seen enough people I follow use one, so it is time. I got just the basic Amazon one that everyone uses. So I'm gonna put it in the freezer and I'll try it out tomorrow morning with you guys and we'll see how I like it. But I am excited, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's just gonna soothe me in the morning, you know? I'm putting it right in the freezer. The second package is from Rare Beauty. I've gotten PR from them before, but I am honored that I am still on the list. That is so exciting. Here it is, beautiful packaging. Let's see what it is. <gasps> Oh my god, what is it? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. <gasps> brow gel, you know I love my brow gel. Volumizing mascara, a brow pencil, <laughs> eyeshadow sticks, that's fun and easy. And gel eyeliner, <gasps> that is so fun. I'm about to try the brow gel right now. I did not gel my brows today, so let's see. Nice, I like this packaging too, cause then it'll never get all crusty. This is up close and personal. I just did that in my camera, not a mirror, but love. Should we try out the mascara too? Why not? Why not do a live test? I have nothing on, so. Oh, wow. I'm gonna go do it in the mirror, hold on. 
Okay, here it is. I feel like it's gorgeous, honestly. I put it on top and bottom. I wanna see if I get raccoon eyes underneath. That's the real test. I like a lot of mascaras, but I hate when they get under my eyes, so. We shall see, but love. Quick little snatch up. Brows and mascara just change your whole face, I feel like, so. Thank you so much for your beauty. That's so cool. Just went downstairs into the garage and got the fridge plugged in and set up because someone's coming to look at it today, so hopefully they end up taking it. That would be amazing. Get rid of it. A little extra cash. Now I got distracted. I was gonna go outside because it's so nice out and lay by the pool, but there was just so many things around the house that I wanted to do. So I've just been running around doing little things. I am trying to find a spot to house our pool vacuum now, which by the way, pool looks so much better. Let me show you. Check it out. Shock did her magic. Nice and blue now. It is so hot, it's gorgeous, but I think I'm gonna have pool day tomorrow with mom. So I'd rather get some little things now and then relax tomorrow. I have to do a few computer work things that I want to get done as well. We need to house this. It can't stay outside, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would just put it in the shed. But we do have to charge it every time we use it. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. But I'm going to unplug it now. Make sure I put the chargey thing back on here. Make sure it's not going to leak. We're good. Yeah, not leaking. All right. I am going to put it in this front closet. <gasps> Schmuggies, you're going to help me? <laughs> It led to me like reorganizing. There was just random stuff up at that top shelf. Now it's just the cat um, carrier cages and then the fire blanket. And then this will go right next to it. All this other stuff can go upstairs, downstairs. Doesn't need to be here. Perfect. Fits like a glove. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna put the charger right there with it. That's where the pool vacuum is gonna live for right now. We just sold the fridge, you guys. I'm so happy to a nice family. And he was like, our fridge just broke yesterday. All my food went bad. I was like, take it. He came with all his guys and they lifted it into their truck and they left. So amazing, that is now out of our garage and it is dinner time. It is already 7.02 p.m. Zane and I are really hungry. So we're making a quick and easy dinner and I am so excited because we're trying this little life hack. My manager's dad is actually a professional chef which is so cool jealous that's awesome and she texted me because she knows i love scallion pancakes and she was like my dad did this and i think you need to try it because i literally couldn't even tell that they weren't made from scratch so what she said he did which he actually saw them do at a restaurant once and they had like an open kitchen so he was like let me try that so we're gonna try it out he took tortillas just regular flour tortillas brush them with some egg and we're gonna cook them in some vegetable oil to give them that flavor he used sesame oil but obviously we don't want to kill zane maybe next week not today so we'll brush them with some egg and then we're gonna put the scallions we just got these today i'm about to wash them so brush with egg put the scallions put some vegetable oil and just put them on a skillet on each side and that's supposed to mimic like a scallion pancake Scallion pancakes are pretty easy to make. You just mix flour and water and then you kind of like fold it into itself with the scallions and then you make it with oil and stuff. Definitely way more labor intensive, but still easy. But to omit a few steps and just make them with a tortilla, I think it's worth a shot. So we're gonna try it out together. Let's see if this works and then you guys can try it at home too. So we're gonna make those. We're gonna do our favorite frozen General Tao's chicken from Lidl, just frozen in the bag. We air fry it, it's so good. You toss it with the sauce. And then also I'm just gonna steam a bag of broccoli in the microwave and that's gonna be our little meal. Some chicken, broccoli, and the scallion pancakes. So hopefully it works out. I mean, if a professional chef can do it and it works, then why wouldn't it work, right? So I'm real excited. I'm gonna film it for a reel too, just in case it turns out good. That's gonna go really quick. So first I'm gonna get this going in the air fryer. There's no specific instructions for an air fryer on here, but I just do 400 for about 18 to 20 minutes, which is what you would do in the oven. And it comes out crispy, it comes out delicious. So I just remove the sauce and then put it in a bowl of warm water in the sink. And then you just throw these little pieces of chicken on there. They look like chicken nuggets, but way better. That's it, so easy. 400, actually I think 15 minutes will be good. We'll start there. Let's get these guys cleaned off. I don't know why little scallions are always massive. Like they're so, look at these. Like what kind of scallion is that? This is what I want. Like this piece is what I want in a scallion. Now we're gonna get it going to warm water and get the sauce in a bowl. The broccoli also only takes about five minutes in the microwave, so. I will just put it in here and then in about five minutes, once that's on like five minutes, then we'll turn this guy on, okay? Here we go, I'm excited. First things first, let's get our eggs scrambled. Beautiful. Let's 
spilled right in the dishwasher. Now we're gonna get our scallions chopped up. I'm just gonna put them all in this container so the rest of them will already be prepped. Chop them on here. I'm also gonna start getting my skillet heating up. I'm gonna give the scallions like a light dry. Like who said that the scallion could be that thick? <laughs> I'm trying to make them really nice and thin because we don't want like super chunky pieces. Oh my god, the chicken in the air fryer already smells so good. Scallions are gonna go in the container. I am gonna keep the greens separated from the whites because we don't wanna use whites today. Take our tortilla, we're gonna brush it with egg. Both sides. Now here's where I'm like, how is this gonna stick? But we're gonna try. Just put all the scallions on there. This might work. I'm gonna put it face down and then I'll sprinkle the ones on the other side, you know? Vegetable oil. I'm gonna put a good amount because we want them to get nice and crisp. All right, how am I gonna flip this? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, it worked! Okay, I'm getting eggs all over my hand. One, two, three. Put that guy under there. Regardless of how it turns out, I still think it's gonna be yummy, so I'm gonna prep the other two. Oh, it looks good. Oh, I snuck a peek. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I think we should flip, question mark? It's starting to get golden on the edges. Oh, the vegetable oil is the trick. I remember when I made these actually from scratch, it, they needed like a good amount of oil. It made them like delicious. All right, I think we're ready to flip. Oh man, all right, that was maybe a little too long on my scallions. And that one was not enough. It just is gonna take a little practice, you know? This burner is bigger. This one is like a smaller circle, so that's probably why this one needs maybe like a higher heat. Okay, I think maybe now this one's ready. It does smell amazing in here. It smells like scallion pancakes. Okay, actually maybe that's what they're supposed to look like. <gasps> it's getting like fluffy with the air bubbles. Oh my God. Sign me up. Got you guys over here now. I got the chicken out of the air fryer. You could like put them in like a bowl and like toss them, but we just drizzle it right on top. Now we got our steamed broccoli. A little bit of salt and pepper on the broccoli. And we'll just dip that in the sauce too. And then we got space for our scallion pancakes. Real quick, I am not wasting the rest of this egg wash that I used. So I'm gonna fry it up real quick. Mix it up with the leftover scallion and I'll just top our dish with it. All right, let's give them a slice. I probably could have used a more aesthetically pleasing plate. Babe! Food! Smells like some scallion pancakes, yo. It does, right? Ooh, I'm so hot. I'm actually gonna make a little bit of a dipping sauce for the scallion pancakes. It usually comes with one. So, I would have to look up what they actually do for the sauce, but I'm just gonna wing my own. We're gonna do soy sauce, some teriyaki sauce, and I'm gonna throw some scallions in there. That's gonna be our little dipping sauce. We gotta do a taste test with this one, babe. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, come help me bring everything in the living room. Put a top on these scallions. We use like a lot of them. Oh my God. Yum. Oh, look at this. This is like a good spot for like a mukbang. Oh, yeah. Got our little things here. Got our... That was kind of weird. Our sauce. I only made just one thing of it, but we can move closer. All right, what are we trying first? The scallion pancake, because now it's probably not even hot anymore. Okay, you go first. Well, I don't know if my sauce is good, so maybe we should try to clean. You don't like it. What do you mean? I was nodding my head at you, waiting for your approval. This slaps. Are you kidding? More scallion though. More scallion? Maybe, you know what? A little bit of salt, because when I made them actually, I put salt. You dip it with the sauce, I feel like it doesn't need salt. Mm-hmm, but I should have salted the tortilla a little bit. Maybe, I think it's good. And these are the it low is good. ones, right? Mm-hmm, well it is. I need, I need it a second to, you know, taste. No, of course, yeah. Taste what's at the process. Mm -hmm. It's definitely way quicker. Than the other way, right? It's easy, because all, all of this is flour and water. But you have to mix it, and then you gotta fold it in, you know? This is good. This is definitely a very good, easy, quick life hack if you want the taste. And way lower cal. Your sauce is good, too. I have a good sauce. What is it? Soy sauce. 
teriyaki sauce, and scallions. Trader Joe's does have um, scallion pancakes, but I don't know, like, I've never had them. Hmm. Also, there was extra egg from the egg wash that I did on the tortillas, so I just made it and put it with our broccoli. I was wondering what that was. Yeah. Good idea. Okay, anyways, that was a success. I'm very happy. They don't taste exactly like real scallion pancakes, but it gives, like, the idea. Oh, 100%. Yeah. They're good. Okay, we're gonna watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I've been looking forward to this for the last hours. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's finally here. Mm-hmm. Good morning, happy Thursday. I have another pimple patch on this thing. It is huge. I get a pimple like once in a while and it's always like right here or on my chin, so annoying. But I just went in the freezer to look for what we wanna take out to make for dinner and I saw my ice roller. So let's, oh, it's cold. Let's give it a gozy, see how we feel about it. Oh, it's freezing. <laughs> this is good for me though. It's gonna wake me up. I feel like this is something Zane would enjoy. He's about to go play tennis, so I'm gonna see how he feels about it. It's very refreshing. It's supposed to like deep puff, wake you up. I tried like the jade roller, I tried the gua sha. It never really lasted that long, but I feel like this, especially in the summer, I don't know if I would do it in the winter. Especially in the summer, I feel like I would do it more often. It is time for fresh wax melts up in this house. This one always gives me trouble, I guess, because it's so thin. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's get this house smelling like a breeze. These are unreal. I get compliments on them all the time. So you guys can get them on my Amazon store if you have wax melts. Highly recommend your house will smell like you sprayed Febreze everywhere and you're doing the freshest laundry you've ever smelled. <laughs> I get like a big pack of them on Amazon. I am loving this. Do I look? Less puffy. I mean, my face is very naturally round, so I've always had like chubby cheeks and like a round face ever since I was a baby. Like literally, if you see a picture of me when I was a baby, I'll pop one up here. Same face shape. <laughs> the baby chubby cheeks have never gone away. So I don't think this is gonna cure any of that, but it definitely feels very nice. I feel like I'm being woken up. I feel like I'm doing something right and good for myself. Add it to the morning routine. And I like that it kind of naturally gives you like a time to do it. Cause once it stops, you know, being cold, then I'll just put it back in the freezer and do it tomorrow. I would even bring this outside with me while I'm sitting by the pool. This would be refreshing. <laughs> it probably would get hot a lot faster, but it feels really nice. All right, let's do our morning gratefuls. July 6th already. Crazy. This is such a random thought, but I'm just looking at the blank wall behind me. I want to get some pictures printed from Zayn and I's engagement shoot. Specifically, one of us eating pizza. I want to put it here on this wall. I think it would be so cute in the kitchen. Why not? And in the dining room, I want to do like a gallery wall, I think, of like some of our pictures from that. That would be really nice too. But the countdown begins. Sissy comes next Friday and it's going to be hectic. So my mom's coming over today for a full day and then we're going to work on her bridal shower a little bit. My mom wants to print some pictures. I have a little mini printer so we'll print a few pictures for that. We have pretty much all the decor figured out. We're on like a good path but when my sister comes we have a lot going on. It's not just her bridal shower. We have some like things planned with her friends to hang out with them. It's going to be like a fun filled week while she's here. Oh here comes Zayn. I want to see how he feels about this. Look at my new gadget. What is it? What do you think about it? Would you use it? It's an ice roller. Wakes you up, depuffs your face. Oh, interesting. Isn't that cool? You put it in the freezer. I said I don't think it will cure my chubby cheeks though, but yeah, <laughs> Zayn, and, Zayn and I's kid is gonna come out with such chubby cheeks between the both of us. But it's gonna be ador adorable. But that's definitely gonna be a gene that takes over for sure. Wait, did you run the dishwasher? I did. Oh, it's so clutch. Did I not switch it? Huh? Did I switch it? Oh, you did. I didn't. Uh huh. I just assumed it was dirty and I went to grab my thing on the Yeah. I want to see how you like it. Oh my god. It was even colder. I've been using it for a while. Like, depuffs your face, wakes you up. Go like your cheekbone, like up that way. Yeah. It's nice in terms of the cold. Definitely waking me up. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Back to our gratefuls. I'm grateful for my new ice roller. I love it. We'll see how long it lasts, but at least I got the affordable Amazon one. Ooh, I am grateful for our new living room built-ins. 
he's coming to pick up our first check today and he's gonna order the cabinets they're gonna go into the garage until they're ready to come install what was that um so we're making progress first deposits going in i'm so excited for them to come install that's also coming when my sister is here too so it's gonna be hectic guys buckle up we have a lot going on but all good stuff i'm, I'm pumped last thing i'm gonna put our pool i love going out there i love sitting out there i pretty much go out there like at least once a day for at least like an hour and it's so nice that my mom can come over today we can have a little pool day I love it here. Let's get this day started. I have to go film something for a brand. So I'm gonna get that done first and out of the way. And then I will come back to you guys. Okay, I just got in a few hours of work. I'm feeling nice and fulfilled. I'm in my bathing suit. I got my little bucket hat on. We are getting ready to go have a nice pool day. And the most amazing package just showed up at the perfect timing factor. Literally perfect because I do not feel like cooking right now. I just wanna get outside and enjoy the summer weather and I'm so hungry, so this couldn't have come at a better time. Also, please don't look at my tan line from my pimple patch. Thank you. <laughs> Huge thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. I literally love this company. If you guys watch my videos, you know. If you've never heard of them, they deliver fresh, never frozen meals right to your doorstep. They are chef prepared, they are dietitian approved. And there's no prep, there's no mess, and all you have to do is microwave them for two minutes so you can still eat well without any hassle at all. I've tried so many factory meals at this point and every single one has been so delicious. They are so full of flavor. And you guys know I'm a foodie, approved by me. And they have something to fit so many different lifestyles, whether you want protein plus, keto, vegan and veggie, calorie smart. I personally love the calorie smart. They're all about 550 calories or less. They have over 35 options every single week week and they don't only have the meals they also have a bunch of add-ons you can add on breakfast items they have bacon and cheddar egg bites apple cinnamon pancakes they also have smoothies which are absolutely delicious this time i decided to try out their juices i chose their variety pack so i get to try all the flavors and i am ready to get outside so i'm gonna pick one of these and let's throw it in the microwave today i'm gonna go for the turkey chili and zucchini i like to keep the sauce cold so i take it out If you guys watch my videos, you know that I also love working with HelloFresh and Factor is actually owned by them. Both are absolutely scrumptious. Sometimes you wanna cook and sometimes you wanna throw something in the microwave for two minutes. So I love that I'm able to give you guys a discount for both. I think you should try both. They're both phenomenal. So if you guys wanna try it out, you can head to factor75.com or click the link down below and use the code Alyssa50 and you will get 50% off of your first Factor box. Again, head to factor75.com or click the link down below and use the code Alyssa50 to get 50% off of your first Factor box. That is a steal. Mm, and that is delicious. And now I can just head right outside. We are outside. My mom should be here in a little bit. She was out just running some errands this morning. I'm just gonna sit at the table and eat before I go lay out. I got all my pool essentials out here with me, so I'm gonna share with you what I bring out when I go by the pool and lay out. Definitely need to stay hydrated, so we've got some ice cold water, a yummy meal, of course. Sunny's in a bucket hat, 10 out of 10. All the sunscreen and tanning goodies. We've got our towel. The phone stays under the lounge chair so it doesn't get overheated because I'm terrible with my phone. It is always on the temperature mode. I'm horrible like that, I don't know why. And of course we've got the Kindle and we've got the Kindle stand. This is on my Amazon store. It goes on your chair and it makes reading your Kindle so amazing. When it's not on the chair out here, it's on my headboard in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, and a scrunchie because hair is gonna have to go up for sure. I was reading in bed last night, my Kindle was dying, so I made sure to charge it. So it is fully charged up and now it's updating. We are ready to go. All right, I've got my icy. Pink is the best flavor and you can't tell me otherwise. I literally don't know what flavor it is, but it's always been my favorite since I was little. I'm gonna go grab a float. And we're gonna float around and read the Kindle. The sun is sunning today. The feels like is 94. It is hot and the UV is like 10. So I'm gonna lather up and get in the pool.
Alrighty, we had a great pool day. Zane came in with us and then dad came in with us. It's been a day. It is already 5.57. I'm getting notifications from the thread app that Instagram just made. How do you guys feel about this? It's basically like a wannabe Twitter. Like Twitter's been dead for me for so long. I haven't used Twitter in forever and I'm not a fan of it. And this is like Instagram's version. So I just posted for the first time and now I'm getting like all the interaction. I have to change the notifications so my watch doesn't vibrate every five minutes, but I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if it's gonna last. I feel like apps like this don't last that long. So we'll see. And apparently Elon Elon Musk is now suing them for copying Twitter. So anyways, had such a nice day in the sun. It was very enjoyable. And now we're doing a little bit of prep because Sissy's bridal shower is coming up. So mom wants to print some pictures to put around the party. So I'm using my little Canon selfie printer. It is amazing. You can get it right on Amazon. I think it's like a hundred bucks and you can print four by sixes right at home. So we had my sister send some pictures of them and we're gonna print them out and put them in the little frames that my mom got. This is like a mom project. I'm not crafty, you guys know, so. Oh, wah, ah, ah, ah. This is how Sissy sent me the pictures. Even she screenshots, see mom? <laughs> like mother, like daughter. <laughs> So I have the crop. There we go. Okay, with this one too. It's a screenshot. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. There we go. I'm over here sending pictures to myself. <laughs> Got them over here, and then we're gonna print them. Abba, what about this one? Get your cat no, off there. No. This is when they got engaged in the house. Can you send that one? And then I'll make a little ones. You see anything for the rope? I have to go to Walgreens and maybe you can help me with that. Okay, we got our app. We're gonna open some pictures. This one, this one, this one, this one. You wanna do a family one? No, I think it should be just them. Do whatever you wanna do, but that is just my opinion. Cause it's for their wedding. This is Benji's favorite part. He's laying on top of everything. Here it comes. <laughs> Here comes, look. Perfect. Good. Some light? Oh. Wow. We got a nice stash building over here now. Put it right here. This is all sissy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm doing good. I have a whole section. Okay, good. I got her, her straw. We got a sash. What are these? Those are just boxes. Oh. That's not for sissy too? stuff. There's, oh, I got her this too. We're going to do the penis thing? No, we're not doing that. That's, do it. that's for her bachelorette. <laughs> I got her this. Oh, I saw that. See? Okay. And mom brought over stuff. We're good. Yeah, those are, uh, you need two tablecloths. I bought mine. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bring over the tables probably tomorrow or Saturday. Okay. Or maybe Thursday. We'll see. When we okay. get back or Wednesday, whatever. All right. I want to make sure we have everything here. This yeah, the just day. bring everything here. We're we not, know it's all here. Right. And we're not, oh, we got to go home and get another table. <gasps> yeah. I'm just trying to make it easy. Oops. Hello, tis dinner time. So we're just prepping everything. We decided to do some like makeshift tacos. We were gonna do like a potato kind of skillet, but we were hungry. So we were like, ah, eh, tacos will be quicker. So I just heated up some corn tortillas in the microwave. Made some chicken over here. Did just some chicken breast, bunch of seasonings, and then we did a can of these diced chilies. Secret sauce right now. Yeah. Oh, not sauce. Not you know sauce, but yeah. Start with the chicken. I made a very sad pico de gallo. Onion, tomato, lime juice, salt, pepper, cilantro. Put that on top. HelloFresh is shaking in their boots right now. They're like, what are you doing? What is this? I also broke up a few of these Asiago and Pepper Jack little crisps. We don't have cheese, so I figured this would <laughs> be a good little alternative. Of course, sour cream, my favorite. A little bit of Cholula. This is gonna be spicy because we put the roasted chilies, Cholula, the Asiago Pepper Jack cheese. Wow, look at these. I said how fresh is shaking in their boots. <laughs> Not in a good way though. They're like, what's going on here? A little bit of scallions just for the vibe. A little drizzle of this cilantro lime. Cause why not? These are gonna be nice and flavorful. Yum! Taco night. That was quick and easy. And it's not even Tuesday.
Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I never ended the vlog last night, so I'm just hopping on here to say goodbye. I'm gonna start a new one. This vlog may have been a little bit shorter than usual, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it, although I always say that and it ends up being long anyway. So thank you again to Factor for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Oh, you're dying. We're gonna watch this is time, this is time. There's a beetle right there. Behind your head? Yeah. Okay. Um there she goes. I love grocery hauls, especially I love a good grocery haul, especially. I Oh, this is something the whole time was all Oh, Bailey. She fell go boom. Ah! It's time to close up shot. Um, why are we going out of focus, camera? And we're gonna cook them in some olive oil. No. I get like a big, hello? Let's get these guys. Okay, I put them the wrong way. <laughs> oh! Oh shit, okay. Hold on, let me do this better. Oh ah! god. I was shaking it. Um, 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 Bella? Absolutely not. Bella, no. What are you doing?